Hi, my friends. Well, by now, most of us have had a pretty good taste of what it's like to be homebound. I know for my part, I've been regularly forgetting what day of the week it is. I'm probably talking to my little dog, Chester, more than is considered normal. And I've noticed I experience a little thrill whenever it's time to go out and get the mail. Hmm. But it would appear that restrictions are being loosened soon and we can start doing some of our normal activities. Like meeting friends for ice cream on a warm summer night. Doesn't that sound nice? Or just taking the kids to the park. And yes, don't forget, getting our hair done. Woohoo! But when most of us are enjoying, enjoying our freedom to get up and go, there are some in our hillside family who will still be homebound. To be precise, there are 30 hillsiders who can't get up and go whenever they'd like, and it has nothing to do with the coronavirus. Some are still in their home or living with family. Others are in assisted living or in a care facility. None of them can drive, and those in an assisted living or care facility are and have been on lockdown, which means basically they stay in their rooms with rare exceptions and even their meals are delivered. And this has been going on for two months and no end in sight. So as you know, I'm Hillside's care pastor and an important part of being a caring community is making sure that our homebound members feel connected and cared for. So I am extremely grateful for Joni Templeman and her husband, Jerry, who lead this ministry with wonderful commitment and passion. They've matched almost every one of our homebound hillsiders with a volunteer who has committed to helping them stay connected with their church family. But in reality, it takes more than one person to do this well, and this is where you come in. But you have to meet certain qualifications. Number one, can you write or print? Number two, can you find a pen or pencil, paper, and an envelope? And number three, can you get your hands on a stamp? If so, you can now write a note or a card to one of our homebound hillsiders. If you don't meet all of these questions, say, for example, you're three and you haven't yet managed to learn how to write all the letters, probably someone in your house knows and you can work together. Receiving a note or a letter in the mail is like nothing else. When I was little, we lived in Chicago and um, we, uh, every Saturday night, we'd call my grandmother, who lived 500 miles away in Iowa. And I remember one phone call in particular when my grandma inquired several times about my mother's health. And my mom assured her she was fine, and then eventually asked her why she seemed so concerned. And my grandma said, well, I haven't gotten a letter from you in a long time, and I thought maybe you had broken your arm. <laughs> we had a good laugh and understood the importance of a letter. If you already know someone who is homebound, then go for it. Just write them a letter, send them a card. Um, if you don't, contact Joni, and she will give you the name and address of one of our lovely people who would love to get a letter in the mail. So, unless you have a broken arm, go for it. And thank you for making Hillside a caring community.